This is a how-to for half door removal panels on a 2009 Jeep Wrangler. Should be applicable to 2007 to 2013 so far Wranglers. You will need a number two Phillips and a T30 Torx to get the door panel itself off. T30 Torx is used for the retaining strap hold down screws. The T30 is used to remove the door retainer holder. Once you get the retaining strap loose, you can use a putty knife or if you're lucky just your hands and go around the edge and start prying the bottom of the door up. Actually it looks like the door is one piece and the top trim comes off with it. that is all there is to that. When you're ready to actually remove the wire from the door, you have to remove several of these little clips. This is the only one that faces towards the outside of the door, so it's easiest to see how it works. It's probably the one I recommend removing first. It'll make removing the plug from the actual door easier. I usually push them forward from the back side, squeeze the little clips together and slide and just push it on out. Once you're ready to remove the plug from the door, make sure you follow the purple wires or the purple and white stripe wire up inside so you know where the right which clip you're removing. Press down on the top to release the tab and pull the clip straight back. And that is all it takes. It's a pain. Some of these you're not going to be able to reach easily. So you might have to try getting a screwdriver behind the back side of it to pry the tabs in and pop the thing out. That's a trick. You just pry the tabs in with the screwdriver. 
and pull the pieces out that way. Last but not least, don't forget to remove your cable from the inside end of the retainer or the uh, door hook, forgive my language. Voila. That's what my dog did to the old one. Make sure you remember to take your door retaining clip or door retaining bracket out of the old uh, nylon webbing. Pretty much installation is pretty much the exact reverse of removal. So first things first, let's put our bracket back in our door retaining or our door retaining bracket back in our webbing. Clip the webbing back onto the uh, door hook. I'm going to go ahead and plug the door socket back into the Jeep. Then, I'm going to reinstall the webbing, or the uh, door retaining strap and bracket back to the door using our previously removed T30 bolts. Be careful letting that door swing around. You can knock off a, an antenna or do some other damage. Once you got your retaining bracket reinstalled and loosely fitted. Go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way. You don't want to put too much torque on these. They're just going into sheet metal. Once you've got the retaining strap back on, you can go ahead and snap all of your clips into place. Just follow the existing, or the old door cable path. Remember that the far one over here is facing the opposite direction. And make sure your wire is routed out of the way of your door linkages. I'm going to go ahead and run this over. After you got this one on, remember this one faces the opposite direction. I'm going to go ahead and make sure you run this in front of your door linkages. Make the run the wires in front of your door linkages into the door clip and just push it in place. Make sure the make sure your tab is facing up and just push her in. Pop your last clip in. And you're done with the replacement. Make sure all your door linkage is clear. You're gonna start by hanging it from the top and uh, making sure the door top holder pockets are fully seated then pushing the retaining pins into place and finally reinstalling the three screws
door pockets, black there, black there, make sure it's nice and seated, and that should be it for reinstalling the clips. Now all you have to do is reinstall your screws. That's all there is to it. Make sure your door linkages work. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.